Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com with another four-box break of 2018 Topps, Allen, and Ginter Baseball. Four-box random team break number two from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Big thanks to these folks right here for getting into the action. Now, one spot gets you two teams. So there you go. We combo the Tampa Bay Rays and the Tigers because there is a non-sport non-baseball or other spot. It's just kind of a catch-all for all the, like, the moon cards and the, the dinosaur teeth and whatnot. So all of that's there. So there you go. That's actually a really good spot. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize each list one and a six seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a one seven times. After seven times, we've got TC with the top two spots and John H., with the 30 spot, Matt Pinfield with the 10 spot. One, two for the teams, three, four, five, six, and a one, seven times. After seven times, we've got the Mariners on top, all the way down to the Mets. All right, so TC with the Mariners and the Rangers. Jeremy Merle with the Cubs. There you go, Curtis, with the non-sport, non-baseball other spot. If that Johnny Cash cut auto pops out, that'll go to you. TC, Rockies and Nationals. Nicholas Leslie with the Yankees. Paul Coolwit with the Reds. Now, Paul, off camera, was just saying, Joe, I'm going to the Cubs game with Scott McNulty. I don't think Scott's in this one. But if I catch a baseball, a home run baseball, with a Jaspies Hobbyland t-shirt, do I get some break credit? I said absolutely. So we'll work it out, Paul. But if you do it, we'll get you some break credit. If you get on MLB's Quick Pitch, we'll get you. We'll add a little bit of break credit to that. And then if you get on ESPN like Web Gems, we'll get we'll get you added on that. If you get hit in the head with the home run ball with the Jaspies T-shirt on, I'll feel bad, um, and we'll give you even more break credit. But yeah, we should start doing bounties. If you wear a Jaspies Hobby on t-shirt and then you you take a picture at a ballpark. Curtis also has the Indians. Nicholas Leslie with the O's. Moody with the Brew Crew. Jeremy Merle with the Cardinals. TC with the Astros. John Oakley was saying, what about on the Astros chain, train and Jaspies Hurt doing the big hit express motion? Even though it's the Astros. Yeah, I'll give some break credit for that. TC with the Marlins. John H. with the White Sox. TC with my Dodgers. Paul Nixon with the Phillies. Stephen K. with the A's. Moody with the Pirates, Stephen K with the Red Sox, Paul Nixon with the Royals, TC with the Braves, Tigers Rays for Paul Cool Whit, TC with the Twins, Moody with the Angels, nice, Jeremy Murrell, Padres Giants, Moody with the Jays, TC with the Diamondbacks, John H with the Mets. Now let's sort by column B. Trades are allowed. Curtis is happy because that's exactly the spot he wanted, that non, non-sport, non-baseball other spot. All the Jeannie Bouchards go to you. I don't think she's too tall for me. All right. So now while you guys are thinking of trades, here are the boxes. Remember, I marked these RT just so we know that they're from the same random team case. So there's four boxes on each side. One, two, three for the left side. Four, five, six for the right side. And it's one. We'll be doing the left side right here. This side um, we'll save for next time. This is already in the store, jazbeeshobbyland.com. So check it out. Paul Nixon's wondering, uh, Royals for Indians, Curtis. Paul Nixon being an Indians guy. Oh, Curtis was offering the Indians. So there you go. Paul Paul Nixon would love that. She, Mothro says, you'll wear a Jaspies t-shirt. Well, you can't just wear a t-shirt to a baseball game. Anyone can do that, Mothro. You got you to gotta step step your game up like Paul Cool Whit and be like, yeah, I'm going to wear I'm gonna wear this Jaspies t-shirt right here and then catch a foul ball or like a home run ball in my shirt or something. Something like that. Is she really off the market though, Eric Jenny? Is Ariana Grande really off the market? I don't think so. Uh, Curtis passes on the Royals. Apologies to Paul. All right, that's a clear signal that we need to close up the trade window. Trade window closed, TWC. Good luck, everybody. Let's box those up. Let's print this baby out. And let's go. Now, apparently, there's some sort of hot box here, like silver, glossy cards. So we haven't seen that yet. 
Maybe this will be maybe this will be the one. Alright, so I believe this break should take about half an hour or so from this point, and we'll do all of the box toppers at the end all at once. About half an hour or so, maybe a little bit quicker than that. So then after that, we'll be trying to think about what our next break is going to be. Ooh, Vic says, how about sitting next to Marlins man behind home plate? At like three seconds. If you're sitting next to the to the Marlins man. Oh what oh these are it, right? Maybe not. Maybe I was just psyching myself out. Alright, so oh, okay, we got we gotta figure out some some rules for this. So Vic, if you sit next sit behind Oh, or if you're sitting next to the Marlins man behind home plate, Vic, with a Jaspie's Hobbyland t-shirt on, and if you if you do like, I don't know, I'm not going to have you do something crazy. If you just kind of kind of like mug at the camera and be like, woo, woo, and if you can catch that on video, yeah, we'll get some break credit for that. Joe Flores streaking, oh, running on the field. Uh, I'm not sure if I advocate running on the field and interrupting the, the play. The, uh, the gameplay, but if you do it, we'll give you a little bit of break credit. We will not cover any legal fees, though. We will not be responsible for anything like that. Yeah, well, they don't even show that stuff anymore, right, Eric Jennings? Like people rushing the field, so you would not have TV evidence of it. John Okray saying, yes, that does look like silver hot box, right. Because I think the regular ones have the... Uh, I think the regular ones have sort of a matte finish to it. These ones have the glossy, obviously silver glossy, hence the name. Break credit if you're wearing the Jaspi t-shirt in a selfie with a celebrity. Depends on the celebrity, I suppose. We should actually do this. Would people do actually do this? I would. We would try to mix in like some some sort of social media thing. We'd we'd make you post it on Twitter or something like that. All right, so these so are all the cards glossy? Oh, they're not all glossy. So these are the glossy cards. So we're actually going to set these aside. So they usually look like this. They have this kind of flatter finish right here. But then you can tell like there's the glossiness of it already right there. And Bill Mosher just finished saying, I see David Ortiz at the gas station all the time. Well, here he is right here. Piece of, uh, piece of his jersey for the Reds. Did I, did I not print this out? There you go. Piece of uh, the jersey for Stephen K and the Red Sox. You see David Ortiz at the gas station all the time. All right, well, it'll depend. It can't be like a selfie where you're taking a selfie of yourself and David Ortiz is like this far away. Like he's like way over there and you're taking a selfie from right here. That doesn't count. Trying to separate those glossy so I can make sure that the shipping team ships all the glossy cards because I know they're different. Boo. Must have happened when they were packing in those minis.
And we got Andrew McCutcheon. Andrew McCutcheon Relic for the Pirates. That'll be from Moody. Well, we'll figure out some bounties for uh, <laughs> for people if they if they you know do some fun things. We gotta print more T-shirts then. All right, we've got comedian quiz show host Rogowski. I don't even think I even know this guy. What quiz show does he host? HQ? I don't think I've ever heard of that show. Is it good? Is it like Sports Jeopardy with Dan Patrick? Oh, it's a trivia app. I see. So it's some sort of mobile application. All right, so let me move these silver cards aside here. I should mark this. I'll separate it with a blank card. All right. Move these over here. Let's check the backs of the mini. Some of them could be numbered. Usually they're different on the front, but we'll check anyway. There you go. Keep these around. There's a lot, lot to keep track of in this Ginter stuff. Next one. All right, so I'll check it out. I, li I like quiz stuff, Samuelson. I feel like I could host. I, I feel like someday, after, after some years of doing this, Maybe I'll be polished enough to do uh, Sports Jeopardy. Dan Patrick can't do Sports Jeopardy forever. Right? Can't. Or maybe uh, maybe I'll take over this, over that guy's, that guy's thing. Oh, he was actually a former Topps employee? Maybe that's how he snuck his way in here. Uh, yeah, the glossy ships. I, I actually, that's why I separated them out as I was doing this box. So the non-glossies obviously look like this. You can see that they have a flat finish. So those commons, those uh, vet base will not ship. All right, so um, I don't know when the next t-shirt promo is, William L. I just saw that comment. Um, I suppose I would have to, we would have to print more t-shirts print more t-shirts maybe we should print more t-shirts so we can uh we can get people to do crazy things and add it to our social media just show people how how bananas our jaspies community are about jaspies hobbyland best best fans best collectors in the world is what we'd say correct curtis the only thing that doesn't ship is veteran base for baseball players everything else ships I like that t-shirt. We've been thinking about a lot of our uh, uh, getting t-shirts made for for various uh, random catchphrases we have. That would be the special gold t-shirts, Curtis. Black is a little more slimming, though. <laughs> All right. The camera adds 10 pounds. All right, here we go. So that, that's vet base. That will not ship, nor will this. That will ship because that's RC, rookie card. This will not ship. Obviously, the minis will ship. All of these will ship to you, Curtis. You've got that spot right there. 
All those guys won't ship. This will ship to Curtis. These will ship. These are inserts. And those won't ship. I think that makes sense. Great. Another Ultimate Hockey sold out. Nice. So that'll happen after this one. Obviously, these will ship to their teams as well. A train, you know what? I have been looking into some various manufacturers, wholesalers for wooden train whistles. So, there's Kenley Jansen. It's my boy Kenley Jansen for TC. South Beach, nice. Got to be careful of those minis flying out of there. Prussia. What did Prussia turn into? Russia? <laughs> I think, actually. And we've got Jake Lamb. Jake Lamb relic. Oh, Prussia's Germany? I don't I don't know those old countries very well. That's that's not my fort. New Dodger, Manny Machado. What did CM turn into? Oh, that's Thailand, isn't it? I think it's Thailand. And we have this guy. I don't know who this guy is. Uh, this is Tommy, Tommy Wiseau, actor and filmmaker, going to Curtis. There you go, Curtis with the non-sports, non-baseball other spot. Wait, this is the guy with the uh... wait. I think I know who this guy is. Was didn't didn't Franco do a movie about him? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This was the right. The room. The room, not a, uh, not the, not the one, not the movie with Brie Larson. That's the wrong room. This is the other. This is the other room. Right, best worst movie ever. They used to do a lot of. Um, they used to do a lot of screenings of that movie here in LA. I haven't seen it yet. I have some. I had some friends who've seen it. They say it's actually it is the best worst movie ever. Uh, no boss man autos in this in the in this year's set. All right, let's look at the minis. He can't be in every year, Joe P. People would think it's rigged. All right, so no numbers here. All right, next one. DJ Remix, what's going on? You figure you'd come to the room and see me eating a large bag of M&Ms in honor of the trade? I should have. Maybe there'll be special Manny Machado M&Ms in Los Angeles. Just all uh, just all Dodger Blue M&Ms. Oh, you want the... Oh, yeah, well, 
I, I agree with you there, Joe P. Joe P's like no boss man autos in Ginter this year, like last year. Then this product's garbage. I agree, Joe P. Boss man should be in the, in Ginter every year. There you go. Oh, Joe P just wanted the bounty. We did give away a lot. Of, remember when, when remember when that hit like in the first day? <laughs> like the first break? I forgot who won it. Who won it? Nick Jaspi was doing those breaks last year. Uh, some someday I'll be on an Alan Ginter card, Mothro. Someday. No, boss man did. Mike Jaspi, the boss man, Mike Jasperson. He's on the checklist. 2017 Alan Ginter. Go to cardboardconnection.com. Look up the checklist. He's there. Maybe next year. Yeah, maybe next year. Jaspi t-shirt, office worn. He does wear the shirt a lot to the store. <laughs> Maybe a, maybe Curtis a picture of the uh, maybe a relic of the the black and orange Jaspi Tesla. He has lots of buddies at Topps Bill Mosher. He used to work there over ten years running Topps Vault from the ground up. Dress code for the shop. Can't wear this every day. There's Machado. It's Posey, Mini. Got Cueto Mini right here. We'll check the backs of those at the end of the box. There's West Germany. That turned into Germany. And behind Verdugo is Mookie Betts for the Red Sox. That'll be for Stephen K. Little mini jersey. I like the frames this year. The palm trees on the frame. And a tropical field. Ehrlich, uh, that channel is hibernating at the moment. It'll wake up again someday. Um, and yes, if you visit Jaspies, you can get... I forgot this mini right here. You can get... Boxes, but we don't we don't really stock a lot of boxes here. It's really mainly the core of our business is obviously what you see right now. Group case breaks. There's Machado again. He's everywhere now. Let's pull one of those Otanis out there too. Michael Brantley. That's just Czech Republic now. Czechoslovakia. And another mini. Wow, look at this. 22 out of 25 you have a you have received a fabled relics card of Cupid 22 out of 25 for Curtis fabled relics I don't know where they got Cupid's relic he's a little elusive isn't he How did they how did they get this from him? From Cupid. Is it could it be murder most foul? Perhaps. There you go, Curtis. That's for you.
<laughs> You're right, John. O John Okra is. I I completely missed that. This relic is not from anything at all. Or is it? That's what they want you to believe, Curtis. It's Phobos considered a, a moon? I guess. That's no moon. And another mini. This time it's an autograph. It's Peters. Dylan Peters of the Marlins. That'll be for TC and the fish. And Austin Hayes at the end there. All right, nice. Let's check the backs of these. All right, nothing there. Nick Leslie saying <laughs> it's almost like an insult. Like, let's see what these idiots will buy. Now, I think G Ginter is usually kind of quirky like that. So... This is definitely a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of tongue and cheekness here. It's a goofy set. So Curtis is saying cardboard connection shows a unicorn hair relic and a piece of Shangri La, but nothing about Cupid. Maybe it's uh, is this from last? No, this is from two thousand eighteen. It's uh, M far dash C. Maybe it's a maybe it's a secret thing on the checklist. I know, right, Paul? Cool wits, like yeah, that ridiculous fake relic would probably sell for like five hundred bucks. Ah, John Okra is on top of this. He's saying it's an unannounced relic set. Very rare. There you go. There's only 25 of those, so that's a, that's pretty cool. Out of the thousands and tens of thousands of packs that they make of these, it's pretty awesome. I agree, Mothra. The, the, the goofy stuff does make this very endearing. It's a very fun product. It's a good change of pace because you can see a lot of things that you don't see. I think we did pull, didn't we pull a Santa Claus and like a, a tuft of his beard last year? Obviously, that's part of the real relic set. Right, Stephen K? Part of the real relic set. John Ogre has a Bigfoot relic from 2000. Well, that's obviously real. Clearly real. Bigfoot exists. We've all seen him. Um, Steve Wilkinson. But is Santa Claus real? Of course he is. Of course he is. Uh, we pulled a rip card in our first break. Hank Aaron. The, uh, the winner, Alan Murdoch, did not rip. Which I think is a wise choice. Loch Ness Monster, real, obviously. All right, good luck, everybody. Last box, random team break number two from jazpieshobbyland.com. The last four boxes of this case already in the store for random teams. We also have half case pick your teams available as well. There's Squanto, Honus, Vermont turned into United States, 
There's Bench. Eric River Thames. Anthony Banda. Uh, good old fashioned pitch counter. Those are fun. Garrett Richards. And we've got Chris Sale. Chris Sale Relic for the Red Sox. Stephen Kay with another relic. James S. saying you got an Otani rib card at 75. Did you did you rip or did you leave it alone? That is that is the question. Max, modern catcher's mitt. Ozuna. The Ottoman Empire, that's Turkey. That I know. And then we got Byron Buxton relic. Uh, Byron Buxton going to TC and the Twins. Steve Wilkerson says, do not rip. Ehrlich says rip. AJ wants to see a double rip. James saying, man, if it was anybody else, I would, but not with Otani. Yeah, you can't, you can't rip that. Let someone else do it. But what if there's... What if there's a one of one inside? One of one sketch card. Who knows? Metal card. There's Otani Mini. Nice. It's the first Otani Mini I think we've seen. And we're almost at the end. We got Theo Epstein. Got a relic. Theo Epstein. It's like maybe a Cubs jersey he wore. Nice. And that is that, ladies and gentlemen. Let's check out the backs of the minis here. Nope, nothing numbered. Let's sleeve up that Otani. I'm sure that those minis have some solid value for Shohei. That'll go to the Angels, of course, Moody. Now we still have some big hit potential in those uh, oversized cards, the box toppers, box loaders. Let's see what we got. Good luck, everybody. Let's actually crank, turn the angle up a little bit on here. We have Fang Ning Bei. Wow, that looks great. Nice natural wonders. Beautiful. Then we've got another box loader, Donnie Baseball. Some of these are autographed. Obviously, that'll go to the Yankees. That'll be for Nicholas Leslie. Curtis, you'll get that first... Uh, Natural Wonders card. Raphael Devers. Going to the Red Sox. I like this design right here. Almost looks like an old Bowman card, right? An old Bowman football card. Weren't they like almost like a one-of-one -one ratio close to it? All right. And the last topper is another one for Curtis. Mount Kilimanjaro. a place I'd like to climb someday. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. Four box, random team, number two, 2018 Tops Allen & Ginter Baseball, brand new release. The, um, the the last four box of the case, random teams are in the store already, jazpiecehobbyland.com. And we've got half case, pick your teams as well. So check that out, and we'll break with you next time. Bye-bye.